everything that Mike Collins has just said, don't completely discount the demand story that maybe we don't get that one million after one million after one million in the months to come. What's your take on that? So Mike is saying it is structural. So he's taking it one further step. I said it is the supply side, but it could be short term, could be long term. Mike makes the argument it could be long term, which takes you back to what Rick was saying. If you believe it's on the supply side, then you also have to acknowledge that the Fed can't do much. Running the economy hot, hotter, is not going to help at all in terms of the supply side. It helps on the demand side. It doesn't help on the supply side. But your problem is on the supply side. So, so that is the issue, John, is that this report tells you very little about what's really going on on the supply side. But it does tell you, and I agree with Rick, that, the, that the, it will reaffirm the Fed's commitment to doing nothing, not even reducing a little bit its purchases, like the Bank of England did this week, like the Bank of Canada did. It will just keep the Fed where it is for longer, and that raises issues that the Fed itself has pointed to in the financial stability report that was released yesterday. We're going to talk about that financial stability report in just a moment. Mohammed, I want a final word from you on this. You started the week by saying that the Federal Reserve needed to begin tapering almost immediately. Do you still have that opinion, then, after this payrolls report? I do, because I think that this is a supply issue, not a demand issue, and I really worry about financial instability, and I worry about unanchoring inflationary expectations. So, yes, I do. Mohammed, you're going to